So let's talk about the real Asian range and also how to use it. The real Asian range is from 6 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. EST New York time zone. I use that range for bias for the next day and also for deviations. In the next charts you will also see the DTCC lined up, but I won't discuss that in this video. That will be covered in the next few ones. First, you should know, the next day's bias is not 100% predictable. I do have a rate of 95% plus. You still need to determine your bias on the daily and also the draw on the daily chart. Try to forecast the weekly draw. You do not need to forecast the high, low or close. The draw or either up or down is enough. Typically the weekly range exists between Tuesday and Thursday. You can also watch some ICT videos about the draw on liquidity. Also you should backtest or forward test the things I teach you here. Let's get into the charts. As you can see, in the first chart, March 1st, the Asian range closed bearish. We then expect a bearish day. It still can be a consolidation or a move higher in London Open or New York Open. It just means that we expect a down close at midnight, even if it's one pip difference from the midnight opening price. The low lines up with the minus 3.5 deviation of the Asian range. It's important to know that you can use the wicks or bodies to deviate the range. You should be familiar with the premium and discount arrays from ICT, like the order block, breaker, fair value gap, and so on. In the second chart, the Asian range is also a down closing range. We count the opening price at 6 p.m and the closing price at 12.30 a.m., not midnight. The low of the day lines up with minus 2 and the day closed down. I will show you some more examples. All these examples are from the last one week or so. I also want to show you some examples from last December. It actually doesn't really care in what month or year you look. Looking at the third chart, obviously the Asian range is a down close range. The daily low is at minus 2.5 deviation, exact to the pipette and the day closed bearish. Here the Asian range also closed bearish, and it's basically the same as last chart. The day closed bearish, and the deviation was minus 2. Now we look at Sunday's Asian range and use it for Monday. Here you can see, Asian range is such a large range, we do want to stay away from these ranges. I personally do not trade after Asian ranges like this. But still, the Asian range is bearish, and the day closed bearish too. Now, the next day. The Asian range is an up close range. We then expect an up close day. The high of that day is deviation plus 2 and the day closed bullish. The very next day, 7th example, same thing. Up close Asian range equals up close day. High of the day is at plus 4 deviation. Now it gets interesting. In this example, on March 10, 2022, I traded live. It can be seen on my YouTube channel. I'll link the video here below this video as soon as I upload it. The Asian range closed bearish. I then knew the day might be bearish as well. At least, it should close bearish. In New York Open we were above the midnight opening price. Listen carefully. I dropped some gems here. So, above midnight opening price and a bearish Asian range like that. I also use DTCC logic, but I do not discuss it here. I then knew, the day must be bearish. So, I can expect a reversal in New York Open kill zone below the equal lows from London Open. London Open was a consolidation. We then move higher into plus one deviation and entered a market maker sell model. I was confident to say, this is the high of the day and I can easily trade it, especially when we hit a premium array on the higher time frame. So the thing is, when we have a down close Asian range, and we are above midnight opening price in whatever kill zone it might be, we can expect a reversal or retracement to at least midnight opening price because we expect a down close day. This is only really high probability when you know the higher time frame bias, and also we hit a premium array on the higher time frame. It then is like magic. Now let's look at some examples from December, where volatility might be lower than in other months. Tenth chart, here we have a down close Asia range. We then expect a down close day. Deviation is minus 3.5. In the next one the Asian range is an up close range. We do expect an up close day. However it closed bearish, but consider this. In London open it drops, then consolidates and goes into New York open reversal, at least to midnight opening price because we expect an up close day. There is a setup with this logic, even if the day does not close bullish. We have at least a bullish move to or through midnight opening price. In this chart we have a down close Asian range. We do expect a bearish day. Low of the day comes in at minus one deviation. Thirteenth example, we do have a down close Asian range, bullish move into plus three deviation, then New York open reversal, back to midnight opening price or even below, closing the day as a bearish day. Here we have an up-close Asian range, expect an up-close day. 
London Open and New York Open is consolidation, so price might move late in the day due high-impact news. We then drop into minus 2 deviation and 30 pip sweep below the Asian low. We still do expect an up-close day. Reversal happens and goes back to midnight opening price and even further. Above London highs resides buy side liquidity. In this chart you can see that you're able to take previous day's deviations and couple it with current day's deviation. Current deviation levels with previous day's deviation levels within a range of 5 pips are most likely high probability deviation targets. I think you get the idea of the real Asian range. Even if this is only a short video, it says a lot.